um, can you explain or show where Jesus said he is God in the Bible? And why didn't he say, I'm God, worship me? This is um, a very common one. It was invented by Ahmed Didat back in the 1980s. If Jesus is God, I would like you to show me one verse, only one statement anywhere in your Bible, any version of the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. It was invented by Ahmed Didat back in the 1980s, um, and so I'll give you the answer to it now. So the, uh, the short answer is Jesus never said that, um, but then people draw the false conclusion he must not be God and he should not be worshipped because he never said it. That's a false conclusion and I'll tell you why. Because behind this question there's an applied assumption that is if someone did not make an assumption, or did not make a statement, therefore that statement must not be true. And that's a flaw in logic. You could reverse the question and say, where did Jesus say, I am not God, don't worship me. It doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. It doesn't say anywhere in the Quran. Therefore, we conclude that Jesus must be God and should be worshipped. It's the same faulty logic. You're trying to argue out of a position of silence. They're equally bad, uh, bad um, arguments. But let's apply that same law to the Quran. Where did Allah say, I am the only God? Ana el-ilah el-wahid. Where did Muhammad say, I am the messenger of God? Ana rasul Allah. Where did uh, Jesus say, I am the Messiah? Um, where in his videos did Adnan Rashid say, I am a human? I looked at them all. You never said it. So therefore, I assume that he's not a human. It's faulty logic. You can't apply that kind of logic. It doesn't work. Um, yeah, so a non-statement doesn't mean a non-truth. It can be true even if it's not stated specifically. Uh, Bernie mentioned uh, uh, during his presentation or his answer, he talked about if some not one, if someone doesn't claim something or doesn't make a state about, statement about it, then uh, that's not necessarily an indication for the statement to be false, right? But Bernie never said he's not a kangaroo. Um, he, he, he never said that he is not uh, a jet. He never said he's not a car. Can we assume all those things about Bernie, that he's a kangaroo, he, can, he could be a jet, he could be a car, he could be a uh, superman, he could be spider-man, he could be all these things. No, he never made these statements. For us to believe that Bernie is spider-man, Bernie will have to come back and firstly he will have to put the, put the suit on, right? And he will, have, he will have to demonstrate that he's the spider-man, right? He will have to climb the building or something, if he claims that, right? Why would we otherwise believe that he's, he's, he's Spider-Man? Likewise, Jesus will have to make a clear statement and show us why he's God Almighty with capital G. If he doesn't do that, we don't have to believe that. In fact, we have statements where he contradicted that notion directly. Why do you call me good when only God is good? If Jesus is God, why is he playing games with the minds of his people? Why is he calling Father the only true God? Why is he doing that? If Father is the only true God, why is he saying that? That means he negates his own divinity. All these statements are very important for us to ponder upon, right? If he's God, we cannot possibly find a statement in the New Testament that controverts his divinity. But there are plenty of, a plethora of statements and verses in the New Testament that directly contradict the notion of his divinity. Thank you.